Hey everybody, I am back at your request. We're going to take a look at Kanye for president. Kanye West for president. Um, you guys want to know about that? So we're going to take a look at the energy surrounding that. Is he serious? Is he for real? Is he really going to run? Will he win? What is the purpose of this? And as soon as I started, I felt like he was being manipulated. As I'm talking about immediately. Immediately immediately and I'm like how could he be manipulated because he is very very intelligent he's an he's being manipulated in the in the heart in the heart he really has a heart for the things that he is talking about with whoever he's talking to Trump one of them and behind the scenes he seriously has his heart into it because he already has mental confidence and pride and he already believes that he can. He already believes that he can do anything. So it's not about a mental thing that he's being manipulated at. If anything, he'll manipulate himself before someone else can in the mind. But his heart, I do believe that he cares about what he's saying and whatever his intent is. However, I don't see him staying or running in this race. Um, it saddens me a little bit because he cares about the foundation. He cares about the house, but he cares more about Trump winning than himself. His heart is for Trump. His heart is for a renewal of this term. He wants Trump back in the house. And I believe that he's being manipulated in the heart and I'll t let me digress a little bit to tell you what that feels like. It kind of feels like being around all the cool kids. And they make you feel like you're cool. And they really laughing at you. That's how this feels. I'm so serious. However, the cool kids find you so funny because you believe that they really care and like you so much. That they keep you around, that they use you as a picture, as a face, as a word, as a name for what you have, for who you are. But the truth of the matter is, I don't see him running at all. I see him walking away from that completely. Yeah, definitely walking away from the idea of that. But the truth of the matter is, he just wants Trump to win again. He doesn't even have the backing, the support. He doesn't have the, the group, the fans, the, the unity. He doesn't have a team. He doesn't have followers when it comes to this type of leadership of presidency. But he is involved. And he is involved and utilized for the president himself. So, this is about foundation, this is about the house, and this is about Trump reuniting. This is about Trump becoming president again. That's what this is really about. I don't know why he's talking about being a president. I don't know why he's talking about running. I don't know. There's no clear understanding of that or what the purpose of that is. The purpose to say that. Because I see him desiring Trump to be president. Again, maybe this is a way of making sure that he stays very, very possible. And I can hear the laughter of the people laughing at him. I really do. Why do he want Trump to stay in office? I think that might be a little more interesting. Why? He believed that we are out of order. He believed that the world is out of order. He believed that the nation is out of order. He believed that everybody is disconnected from victory, disconnected from being the best. He wants Trump to bring back the connection of the people. He wants Trump. He believes Trump can bring unity. 
he believes that Trump can fix the issues of division. What type of division? He do believe that Trump can put the fires out. This is based on what he knows about him. He believed that Trump can fix the dollar, maintain the dollar, sustain the dollar, teach the dollar, give the dollar, make the dollar more valuable than it's ever been. Yeah, this is real too. This is not jokes. This is not for play. Yeah, Kanye believes that we're about to go down the toilet. That's what he believes. And he believes that Trump has the eye to put that fire out and to save us from drowning. That's it. That's all. That's his belief. Yeah. Very strong. Very straight to the point. Done. I don't see anything else but that. That's it. He believed that he is the one. He believed that it will happen. He believed that this is. Let's see. God's judgment. Yeah, I felt that before I pulled a card. He believed that this is ordained. He believed that Trump was offered to us to keep us from falling. <clears throat> he will be walking away from making a statement of running. That's not what he's about to do. But I do believe that he gave it a big thought to try to save Trump. Like, hey, if it was a chance that you lose, then maybe they'll pick me so I can keep you there so you can help us from drowning. Put out the fires. Help us get back connected. Keep our dollar he actually believed that he could take his place just in case he was losing. I think that he believed that. And I think that they used him or using him, utilizing him. Yeah. And laughing at him. I just don't feel like they are taking him as serious. And when I say they, he's sitting to the table with these men. This is not no phone call. This is, he's sitting to the table with them, with Trump and others. Seriously, sitting there. But he would definitely walk away from this. Let's find out why he'll walk away from running for president. Because because of Trump. Makes sense to me. Yeah, it, it, it almost feels like they're going to offer him something. It almost feels like they're going to offer some options to him. Like, you know, it's good. We're going to win. It's looking good for us. We're going to offer you some things um, in that term um, that you care about. So he's going to walk away because of that shake of the hand. Doesn't feel like a promise. Just feels like a nod. Yeah. I don't even know why this conversation is happening. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It feels weird because I don't feel like he's being taken seriously. Unless he was needed seriously. But they find out they don't need him. He's strong enough by himself. And they find out they don't need him, so they offer him something what, verbally. We got you. When we get in there, it's something that they're going to offer him. They're going to offer him some type of options in the White House for the next term. That's what it feels like. He'll be resting on this position of running for president because he cannot create change. And he doesn't have um, people to support him. 
But the purpose of him even desiring to do this was just to make sure Trump gets in the office, holds his spot, even if he needed to win just to get him in there. He was willing. He's a soldier. Stand by to stand by. He's available in whatever way Trump needs. That's his belief in him and his presidency. However, when he walks away, he will be given some options. He be, he'll be given some type of incentive. Let's see if I can find out what that is. I would like to know. Because it got something to do with a personal passion of his. It's, it's almost like a verbal promise or a head nod. Like, we got you when we get in there. I remember I used to watch, I watched Martin a long time ago. I haven't seen it. Um, but... It was like this show where he went to Hollywood. I think he was on like the uh, somebody's talk show. And I think they told him something like something to the point of when you get to Hollywood, we got you. And he really believed in it. That's kind of like how this feels. I see offers here to release unhealthy behaviors upon the people that he cares about. Um, upon the communities. This is for the black people. This is some black promises and head nods, giving him more authority to help the people of color. Yeah, things like that. So this gives him power to stand forth and stand for things that he cares about. Why does this feel like he was going to be there agreeing for him to be an ambassador for his personal passions and they're going to help him be that face of that and he is connected why is he connected why is he so connected like this you know why why was he even let in in this type of way why 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 oh okay okay that makes sense the higher fan okay 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 all right. <laughs> okay, let me get out of this. All right. So here we go. And I thank you guys for going through the journeys with me. I don't like to know everything before I press play. I like to learn as we learn together. So here's our summary. Kanye is very passionate about everything that he's passionate about. He's passionate about God. He's passionate about music. He's passionate about changing the world. He's passionate about winning, staying successful. He's passionate about his, the people of God. He's passionate about God's creation. He's passionate about black people and he's passionate about black lives matter. He's passionate about everything. He has passion. He has it. And he also has a passion in this president because of what he can do with the dollar, because of what he fears at night. Kanye's concern and his passion and his prayers and requests, he is concerned about us going down the toilet. He's concerned about that. He's concerned about us living in division. He's concerned about um, the fires that are happening in the world. He's concerned about the destruction. And he believes in Trump to take care of that business in those areas where it means the most to him. So he backs him up. He connects with him. He reaches out to him. He talks to him. He asks for meetings. He sits down with the man in charge. To let them know I connect to you on this and I see the work that you're doing. And I love the way you're maneuvering around things. He loved his technique. This is, this is some old air sign conversation. He loved his technique. It's almost like Kanye sees him as a superhero. He sees his technique. He liked his technique. He like, if I was you, I would have did it that way. So that's how they build a rapport. Kanye is concerned about him not winning the next term. Concerned so much that he does something about it. 
That's one thing about about Kanye. You have to respect and love. Whatever he has an ill will about, he wakes up the next morning and hops on a plane to at least have a discussion. He puts action in the things that he's concerned about. And he's concerned about Trump losing. And he don't want him to lose because he believed that we will all fall apart. Or fall apart more, lose more, whatever you want to look at it. So he said, hey, if you need me to run, I'll run for president. Because I don't want you to lose. And if I win, then you could be with me. He seriously felt that way. And then I heard the laughter after that. I heard the men on the other side of the table laughing at him. I felt that. I'm like, is he serious? Yes, he is serious. He was serious. He's serious with about the things that he say. But at the same time, I do believe that Trump keeps him around because he's a good look. And it's another person. And it's a black person that shows interest in him. That got to be helpful. So you laugh, chuckle, and leave him around. But Kanye is really serious. As it gets so far or gets so close, Kanye and I'll say Trump have a conversation of, you don't have to run. I'm going to win. It's looking pretty good. We're looking stable. And that confidence um, helps Kanye to pull back. But there is some type of head nod. That is given to Kanye. And I say head nod because it doesn't feel formal. It feels like at the end of that conversation, Trump says something to the point, and we're going to back you. And we're going to make sure you are the face. And we're going to make sure we put you in position to handle these things that you are so passionate about. And that's it. That's all I see. Okay? So, thank you all. We'll find out what happens more in the future. Talk to you guys soon.